box was really good. And I just kind of let him just grind away, grind away and learn and, you know, really get the skill set, you know, kind of dialed in as much as we possibly can. And then now it's kind of like we're on our final week and there's a few little things that I think can be better. So, um, yeah, this is kind of my wheelhouse. This, is, this makes me all kinds of happy. Seeing a box fan out here and just Tate, you know, just to expose him at a young age to, you know, the things that he's going to have to learn. Right now, I only really want three answers. Can't tell the difference. It's better or it's terrible. You know, like, it's outside of that, um, I kind of rely on my own, what I see, uh, and a little bit more than, more than anything. So, anyway, see what we learn, dial this thing in, and get some speed, and get ready for the race in Newcastle. How does it feel? Good. Not as harsh? Yeah. How is it like in the whoops and the turns? Good. Can I do one run through the whoops? Like sure. So it definitely feels more controllable in the whoops. And it likes to stay on top more. Like when you want to go faster like that, is it just because now you have a little more confidence? Yeah. Like the bike's just giving you a better feeling that you can, it's going to be okay? Yeah. Especially in like these moves. Like I feel more like it'll like stay straight more instead of like, like sink into them and like get a little bit sloppy. How does it feel in the turns? Do you ever feel, it's good. does it have less traction, more traction? Like do you, like, is it smoother? We call that plush. So like, a, like when you come in and you hit the bumps, does it feel yeah, it's like does it feel softer, smoother? Does it feel harsh? Does it smoother? Like coming into this corner, but like that one, it like settles in better and then it gets good. the forks other than the, other than doing that how is it like in the turns and stuff better. like that it's better in the turns. you liked it better in the turns yeah it turned better in the all right tater uh just do a like a full lap of all the jumps and the whoops and everything like that okay yeah the biggest thing for me is like you can't discredit what he says, but then you also have to acknowledge your experience and things like that. And I'm guilty of being young and everything's better, right? Bolted on, you feel like everything that everyone gives you is gonna be better because it's new. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. Um, in my opinion, it's a 50-50 shot. It can be better, it can be worse. <laughs> and you have to understand that. But yeah, like, his common thing is everything's better. That scares me, so I have to pay more attention. Here, Justin, give us a rundown of uh, what you got with this store. We want to greatly see customer expectations. When you're coming in to buy your new toy, you have the opportunity to shop through all the products and all the brands, and that's why we continue to reinvest at this level because you know we go ride dirt bikes together. We're motorcycle people. It's just yeah. to our core. So I want to shop in a place that's fun and exciting. So I figure everyone else would as well, and that's why we go to such great lengths to build these theme stores. So it's so it's just a cool, fun place to be. Safe to say, Mountain Motorsports is like the candy store of house sports. I think kids and adults. It's so many things in here I could grab and be so happy and you could have so much fun on it for the day or for life. <laughs> it's awesome. I think it needs to be stiffer, softer. Fun part. And I would probably go with, do you want I would, I would, my opinion is, is that I think that if we try to do something to stiffen it up initially to get it into the nicer part of the stroke, mm -hmm. but then take away the, the ramp at the end and maybe take some high speed out of it a little bit. You know, the whole idea of testing, in my opinion, is is that you're 
you're trying to better the bike and the bike you can't necessarily always set the bike up for the turns and then give it up in the whoops and you know there's certain things that you chase um, and I think early days I think the bike had a bigger window and a bigger balance opportunity and so I think that you could set the bike up for kind of everything now the bikes are very you know focused on centralized mass getting it low and so the bike wants to move you know front to rear a lot more and so now I think it's about getting you almost have to have multiple setups you know like one where the bike's really good in the turns if the whoops are small and then if there's a track where you can give a little in the turns because the turns are good and then the whoops are really big and you kind of need to extract the most out of that so that's probably the biggest thing it's it's always hard to get everything better um, and so as riders we're all different and we all require a certain thing that makes us comfortable on the track and I think that that's probably what I see lost is that it's not one set fits all there's a reason why this stuff bolts on and bolts off components bolt in bolt out and mechanics and suspension people and team managers and team teams in general don't like that but the Japanese and the Austrians they wouldn't have made it make it bolt on if it wasn't supposed to come apart <laughs> so I'm a fan of if it comes apart open it let's fix it make it different change it and so anyway I always like to tinker and and work at it and get, and get it really good have fun kid feel it out Some of the most consistent that I've seen you. Hips are stable, like yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit more. It's the, it's not as kicky. Yeah. Hey Tate, your gear for Australia. You got that one. Ooh. You getting the factory jerseys. Look at that. Oh, that looks sick. That one will be sick. I like that too. Yeah, the blue looks cool. Yeah, but it looks good, huh? Yeah, it does. Got the Aussie logos. I know. The mountain. 22. I love that gear. That gear is cool. Yeah. It's got the Supercross written all over it. <laughs> I love it. suspension testing um, got a pretty good feel on the suspension so hopefully we can feel pretty comfortable at Oz uh, did some really good laps and that's really important so yeah awesome day um, it was fun it was fun to see Tate you know take on information uh, have to you know give the information out and, and kind of just his his ability to tap into going fast for a couple laps stop you know longer downtime where we make changes and then go back out because sometimes you think oh it's one lap two laps here three laps there whatever but it actually really takes 
takes it out of you. It's kind of like just you have to basically give your everything for those two laps. Um, and not only are you giving your everything, but the mind is, is so busy and so crazy on, you know, analyzing and, and basically basically just data logging what you're feeling so that you can pass that information on to the onto the team and, and all your personnel so I enjoyed watching watching that part of it and helping him and really proud I think we we, we improved the bike getting him through the whoops a little bit better and uh, and probably more than anything just even the rhythm sections I, I, I like that I'm seeing the bike starting to look more super crossy. He starts to be able to ride it more natural and the bike kind of does the work rather than um, you having to compensate for some of the lack of the bike settings. Um, and then in and out of turns. So at this point, you know, we got a couple more days of riding, um, but I'll ship this stuff off to Australia and I'm excited. I'm excited to go back to my hometown and never in a million years could you have told me that I would have a 13 year old that's going to race his first supercross in Australia in Newcastle which is where I grew up um, and so yeah kind of a, a fun unique moment for me and and he's prepared he's, he's riding well um, now it's kind of just up to uh, you know what he's got between his ears because I think skill set we're good speed we got it now it just means to be how he handles the pressure how he handles the track adapting to it um, and then just the outside noise and then mama bear and I will do our best to control that as much as possible but um, I'm excited bring on Newcastle